I can't step my phone up. <clears throat> I need you to fold these up something because I don't need them to see all the room. Just want to see the colors. I don't want them to see the colors. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in. How y'all doing this morning? This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. That's your foundation this morning. If you woke up this morning, you need to be thanking God. Tell them thank you. Because you can see your legs and seating things. You got food on the table. Good morning. Good morning, Munchy Baby. I'm waiting on my daughter to give me some canned goods so I can set this thing up here. Right? How y'all doing? Uh, look, I'm so appreciative of y'all giving me that song, baby. We're going to work it out. I ain't got it. I ain't got it right yet. We're going to work it out. Hey, Japonicas. Valerie Bradfield Wiggins. What's up? Baby, that ain't the right canned goods. Hey, pussy, how she got this bonnet on? <laughs> Baby, she will not walk out the door this morning with that on. Understand me? Hey, I need four canned goods, baby. I need four yeah, need the same size, market. baby. Give me the same size canned goods. Shut up talking to me about no flea marker. I ain't going nowhere. Give me the same size canned goods. I got to set this up. I'm fussing with her early this morning. She come visiting me. Get out. Go to work. Do something. Hey, Wanda Miller, Hey, Vanessa Martin, good morning. Twin, good morning to you. Hey, Donna, come on in the room. Let's give them something to talk about. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Erica Burrell, nice to meet you. LaMarinette told me about you. So welcome into my room. Welcome into my world. I am Kisha Hawkins, the beautiful, the wonderful motivator. I am an encourager. I am called to encourage you. Laugh is good medicine for your soul. So let's laugh. Let me give you a disclaimer. When you come into Kitchen's Corner, we don't do all that cussing. Don't put all that cussing on my page. Understand what I'm telling you? The only word I use is hell and damn. Understand? I don't use nothing else. Don't use those derogatory words on my page. Because, see, I be having my pastor and his wife. I respect them. Understand me? I respect God first. But I respect my pastors and things second. You understand what I'm saying? You're not going to do that on this page. Understand? And today, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to throw no shade on nobody. I put myself in, under the bus. I talk about myself because it didn't happen to me. So I try to give you a little knowledge. What's up, Jaquita? What's up to Wanda Walter, baby? Munching, munching, munching. Hey, what I need for y'all to do is share, like, and love my page, baby, because this finna go down. Now, what I want y'all to do is give me a time frame, because I got to be to the doctor at 9 o'clock. I can't stay on here all day. And if it's something else that uh, uh, I left out, we'll do a part two when I get off, when I get out the doctor. Okay, well, let's go ahead on and talk about this top topic. Hey, Kamisha. Hey, Lisa. The do's and don'ts of church wear, baby. Oh, I ain't got no rain on. Hey, go find me a rain girl or something. I got to give the people what they like to see on me. Hey, y'all, this morning I tried to get my lashes from last night, but baby, I rubbed them things off them lashes, turned up, and I thought it was a roach or a spider. I had to throw them in the garbage. So I got to go get me another 99 cent pair of lashes. I can't be on here looking like I got leukemia. Okay. Hey, Josette Reed, what's up, baby? Let me tell you something. Okay, y'all see how I'm dressed right now? This, this all my body out right here. This ain't how you go to church, baby. Don't do that. The church is not a club. Understand me? It ain't no club now. Hold on, because I'm trying to get my phone silent. Mm -hmm. There you go. My phone silent. Let me tell you something. Don't be calling me while I'm on this live. I'm going to pay you attention when I get off the live. If I see you on here, I'm going I'm to pay you some attention. What's up, Annalise? Hey, Larynette. Mm -hmm. uh, what's up, Kenny Grace? Look, don't go in the church like this. See what I'm saying? I know the Lord said come as you are, but baby, that ain't what he meant. He meant when you're broken hearted, when you're downtrodden. You feel what I'm saying? When when you a mess, when you're when you're an alcoholic, if you're on drugs, well, just come as you are like that. He tell you to walk up in ooh, Zena gonna kill me. The man that I forgot. I'm sorry. I told y'all I can't be calling y'all when I'm trying to do something. I got to get prepared. Okay, so I used to come to church like this. I ain't know no better because see my mama. Oh, Lord, she raised me up the right way, y'all. But I got grown, and I wanted to show my fine body. So, baby, I would go up in church just like this. Well, the folks in there looking at me like, I could see them, honey, at that peripheral. Mother in church like this, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. 
And then after a while, thank you, baby. I, after a while, they'll come over there and give me, call it, you bring me that scarf. God, dog. Bring me that scarf I tie my head up with. Uh, 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 uh. Come here, baby. And bring me this hair. Give me this hair blanket. Girl, come out my bathroom getting all my perfume, using my perfume and my makeup and stuff. Get your, oh, Lord have mercy. Give me that. Okay. Y'all, come get her, please. Y'all in my medicine and my makeup stuff. Hey, Annalise, Zena, don't kill me, baby. I try. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, Shakaya. Shakaya, y'all on here be telling me something good. What you talking about? Then I see the mother of the church come over there with this big old blanket. What, what you coming over there with this big sheet for? Covering me up. That's what you should have got me. Covering me up like this. What? Girl, I'm high. I can't be sitting up in this church like this covered up. They told me if I go to church, I'll find a man. So, hey, get this off me. I'm trying to find me a man. <laughs> that ain't right. So, you get somebody at the, at the church say, baby, we don't wear um, stuff like that. We don't, what? Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what I could do. She said, next time, you know, put your, put your some, wear you some straps on your dress. Oh, okay. I'm wearing some straps on my dress here. I'm going to take my bra straps that I had put down because I ain't got no hair bra. I'm going to take my bra straps and I'm going to pull it, pull them up. So this could be my, my straps on my dress because they match my bra. Yet she still yet trying to cover me up. She yet covering me up. Like stop covering me up like this here with this blanket and things and these sheets. I'm hot. I'm trying to get a man. I, they say if you go to church, you can get a man. All the fine men and things up in the church. So, hey, I'm hot. I take this off. So next time I come to church, oh, the lady said come to church, and she said, uh, 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 put your straps on, whatever. So I'm trying to jazz it up. I got a necklace now. Ooh, baby, so I, I put the necklace on, y'all. Uh, uh, um, hey, 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 hey. The necklace ain't doing that, because the next time I come up in church, I'm going to, I want these here to show. See what I'm saying? You see that cleavage? Don't do that. That is not how you go up in the Lord's house with your titties out and boost it up like that. That ain't how you go in the Lord's house. <laughs> Bye, baby. I love you. I plead the blood of Jesus. You have a wonderful day here. Have a wonderful day. Don't be texting and driving. Don't be uh, uh, texting and driving. Put your seatbelt on. Understand me. Put it on now. And lock my door. Don't do that. Putting these things up here like that trying to show. And then here go mama again. She at Baby, pull that up because that's showing too much. Understand me? So here she go again. Blocking me. Baby, you do you want the men in the church? Because you all covered up. You want me to be covered up like this here. I ain't coming like that. I want these men to see me. You hear what I say? Okay, so boom. So here I go again, baby. I'm coming up in there again, huh? So this time... I get this. I'm going to put me a little jacket around this here. You know what I'm saying? See? Now, when I get out of church, I can get out of it. You see what I'm saying? See? So, mm, so I just throw me a little jacket. See how cute that is? See how cute that is? But I still got these out right here because I want the, I want the men of the church to see these. Baby, if you don't cover them up, cover them titties up. You don't do that. Look, she come over there and want to pull this up like this. And then she said, you can have your little necklace to show. Oh, baby, you got this here pulled up to my throat. I can't even breathe. Understand me? Now, now, baby, now you can sit up in there. Understand me? You want to respect yourself first. And then you want to respect the, the pastors and their wives. You want to respect the deacons and their wives. And then you want to respect the men up in the church that's single or married because they, they lust it too. You feel what I'm saying? Don't give them something to talk about about you. Ooh, I'm getting hot now. Okay, let me show y'all something else, baby. Ooh. So look, I got a double strap on, on the arm. Um, this is my walk around the house dress. I got a double strap, so I'm thinking that's cute right there. That ain't cute because you still got your body out. See what I'm saying to you? Let me tell you something. And don't go to church. I got a little hair under my arms. Don't go to church with your body out and you got hair stuff up under your arms. That is nasty and unsanitary and unclean. All that hair carry a musk. You understand? I'm going to show you how to get that out. Hold on. Oh, baby. Get that hair from up 
under your arms, baby. Get that hair from up under your arms. Don't go up in there raising your hands up to the Lord and you got hair and a uh, 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 powder, uh, um, deodorant residue up under your arms. Don't do that. Hey, Joyce. Hey, Keith. Hey, Calissa. Hey, Am baby. Baby, don't do that. You see all that swinging and hanging like that. When I get ready to praise the Lord, don't nobody want to see that. And then, let me tell you something. All this here back there, you don't go in the Lord's house and have all that hanging down off of you like that. That is not acceptable. You want your back out. Then you sit, you sit in front of folks and they talking about your back. How dud it is because you got that residue and stuff. Or that bra strap that's been too tight for years. And it's been butt and embedded down in your skin. Get your mind right. Hey, hey. Get your mind right. Understand me? And then, if you a bitch, if you a skinty woman, still same for you, baby. Because when you bend down, you're going to show your tail too. Let me tell y'all stuff. Don't. Oh, Lord have mercy. I want y'all to see this here. Can y'all see? Can y'all see my legs in that short dress? If y'all see my legs in that short dress, please uh, put a one up. If do you? This ain't right. Do y'all see my? See this here? See that? You don't wait. You don't go to church like that. Cause when you sit down, you when you sit down, the dress rises up. So you want to sit in the front row so you can be seen so the pastor can see you. You want the pastor to see. And then here come the church mother got to come over there and put you a doggone blanket over your legs. Because the pastor sitting up in the pulpit praying. He done bowed his head. When he looked out in the audience, he seen the audience and he didn't catch you at first. Then when he done bowed his head, got through praying, he done lifted his head. And his glasses almost like the fell off his head. Because he looked down and in your tail. Because you, ooh, that ain't right. Quit wearing these short dresses and things where your legs coming out. Ooh, don't do that. Get these men and they wise respect up in this church house. Understand me? And I understand for the ones, I promise you, I'm not throwing no shade, baby. I used to do it because I want the folks to look at me. And that's what they're going to be doing, sitting right there, just like comedian and Tom say, look at you. So, they looking at you, I'm looking at you, and mother's shaking her head like this, and she praying, Lord, help these children, because they don't understand. They don't even understand. What's up, Nikki? What's up, uh, uh, Jay? Understand what I'm telling you? And then, ooh, let's give them something to talk about, baby. Don't have on them short dresses, especially if you're a full-size woman, and I'm a 2X. Ain't no way in the world. Ain't no way. Ooh, and I love my little dress. Understand me? Now, I wear this dress here when I'm out. But I'm, you know, I'm out. But this dress right here, when I walk, it rises up. It rises up in my tail. So, I got to keep pulling that down. Keep pulling that down. No, 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 no. I'm not going to keep on doing that. You wear them right there to church. And then we, when they say altar call. And you fall out, all oh, your tail out. When they say altar calling, you bending down, praising God. You bending down and the folks, you giving the folks a whole show. They know what kind of drawers you wearing. They know what color it is. They know if you got black, them black marks inside your thighs and everything. That ain't right. Don't do it to the people. Don't do it to the people. Respect yourself. Do not come up into the church, y'all, like we going to the club, man. Come on. Don't go up in that church and you got your back out and them, 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 okay, the cold shoulders, all right. Now, this just me. It's my opinion. Let me take this out because I'm getting hot. Uh, this just my opinion. Understand me? But don't go in there front. Yup. Don't go in there showing all your cleavage and things like that and boosting your br breast up so then when you go hug, hug the men in the church, all your breasts on them. And then, you know what I'm saying, they wives looking at you like, come here, baby, when you see somebody come get their husband from you with your titties and things out, don't get mad because you ain't they wives. Understand me? Go get your own husband 
and rub your titties on them. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that to these folks. Understand me? And then you know what? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something else. Hey, these here color drawers right here. If you got on, mm -hmm. oh, I get so sick of seeing y'all in this mess. These are see-through tights. So when I say because they black, baby, if they black, they ain't thick. You can see your skin in that. You don't wear that to church. Can't you see the color of my nails? Don't do that. So if you can see the color of my nails, you know you can see the color of the drawers that you wear. Duh. Ooh, kiss up. I had to learn that when I was in CNA class. Don't you see the color of them drawers? So when you walking out, that ain't cute. That ain't cute when you walking in the church, y'all. That ain't cute. You got to get them in. Them men praying. They praying so they won't have to keep on looking at y'all like that. That ain't how you get a man. And then, you want to go, ooh, I, I'm going to be, don't talk about my underwear, baby, because I love these right here. These is flowers. Understand me? I love them. They fit good. Let me tell you something. Can't you see them flowers in that black? That ain't right. That, hey, Zena. Don't do that. Don't do that. And then when you get from the altar, you twisting. You twisting. And I see these flower drawers. I'm just sitting up there like this. Somebody should have told you when you woke up that morning, getting ready to go to church. <laughs> Baby, that ain't right. Put you on something to cover your backside back there. You feel what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. When you wearing black pants and they see through let me tell you something. These workout pants that y'all be wearing, don't do that. If you want to wear your workout pants, like the Bible study or, you know, your, your choir practice or something, do you see this black on black? You can't see nothing. Understand what I'm telling you? You can't see nothing. That's what you do. What's up, sister? Hey, Kyle. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Jimmy. What's up, Annalise? Don't. Now, let me tell you something. These here, when I was at CNA, these are my white drawers, panties and stuff. Don't stop. Don't talk about it, baby, because if I open up wide, they're going to look like a parachute. Ugh! You do not wear white drawers with these see-through black. Uh-uh. And these leggings, these dance skins. Don't do that. And then when you got a wedge of folks looking at you, and you walking with one side of your drawers all up to the heavens and the other side down to the bottom. Don't do that, baby. Don't do that. Don't do that. That ain't right. That ain't right. Understand me? And if you if you a little woman, I ain't got nothing against you, baby. Nothing. I'm just giving you something to talk about. Put it in your mind. If you a big, if you a small woman, that does not mean that you can go to Forever 21 and get you a mini skirt and get you one of them little cute little shirts and them old high stiletto heels. Because you ain't got no butt to rise your uh, uh, dress and things up, your skirt and things up. That don't, hey, you ain't out of it. You ain't, uh, what's the word I'm trying to look for? You ain't dismissed. You in the category too. Cause, and then that split, that split be high up. That split be so high up in your tail back there. Lord, I be like, Jesus, go get them a scarf right now. Time up, tied around them like they, uh, 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 uh. What's that lady? Time, tie, 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 that, tie that thing around your body like it's a, a head wrap. Don't nobody, y'all don't, you know what? Our urshers, all of them ain't women. You understand what I'm saying? Good morning, Steve, brother. How you doing, baby? All of the urshers in the church ain't women. They got men urshering, not to. And them men do not want to pick you up off that floor and your body hanging out. What they supposed to do? They can't go up, up. They can't. They can't pull your uh, 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 skirt down. Cause then you gonna tell about they sexual harassing you and feeling on you. Feel what I'm saying? So why not just let you get on up with your drawers and things, Sean? Cause see everybody else in prayer, they worship God. They got their head down except me. I'm looking. You will not seduce. Hey, you will not seduce. Uh uh, not my pastor and them folks up in there. That's married, baby. Uh uh, we don't do that. We don't do that. You a baby. I will pull you to the side. Don't do that. Mm -mm. See, uh, ooh, 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 baby. I used to be 
be a clean up woman. You understand what I'm telling you? I thank God I didn't learn a whore, no a whore, baby. You hear what I say? You will not do that. Quit coming in there with your favorite pair of tight jeans on. Ooh, 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 ooh. And you know you got hips this big and your butt, your butt right here this big. Your butt this big. And, and when you walk away, all you sit, don't, baby, don't put them tight uh, uh, for everyone, if for every 21 jeans on. You understand know what I'm saying to you? Don't do that to the peoples. The peoples in there trying to get right with the Lord. Don't go in there distracting the peoples. Don't distract the peoples. Good morning, Eunice. Hey, Shonda, uh, baby. Lucretia, I'm telling the truth. The Lord, the Lord said come at you all. Oh, he did not tell you to come in there half dressed, half naked. That's seduction. Don't do that. That's the spirit of lust. Don't do that. Don't, don't go in there trying to get these people husbands and things. Fix your mind on the Lord. And he'll give you everything you need. And I'm just trying to tell you. Now, for me, let me tell you something. If I know, I know, see, I'm a praiser. I'm a worshiper, baby. When I get down on that floor and, and worship God, I make sure you ain't going to see my booty crack. You ain't that much up in the spirit that you can't pay attention to what's going on with your body. I'm getting up. By the time I bend down to go praise the Lord, my draw showing, my crack, crack kills, crack kills. It's within the church. It's still kill. Don't nobody want to see the residue of your tail. Then the earth just got to try to hurry up and run around to get to you and put the scarf on you because you know better. You know better. You know better. Kisha Hawkins, I'm talking to me. Yeah. Ooh. Wait a minute, Ashley. I'm going to get there. What's up, Raquel, my baby? Hey, Lena Jackson. Hey, Jessica Wiggins. I'm telling the truth, baby. I'm telling that. Look, when you a woman and you a full-size woman, let me tell you something. You put on your dress. Put on your... See how long this dress is? You see that? You put on your dress like that. And then you can sit there and cross your legs. You can even... You can even take your shoes off in church and your feet will be covered. And then when you get down on the altar, you take that dress like mother used to do and you flap it around you. And you throw it between your legs and you get down there and you praise and you worship God. So when you get back up, it ain't nothing. What if they ran out of scars? Because we got, babe, we got over 2,000 people in our church. What if they run out of scars? How are they going to cover your Big tail up. Or your little tail because you think you're so cute. Stop coming in that church house like this here. Yeah. Because you think you're trying to outdo the first lady, baby. Don't do that. Ooh! Your intentions ain't good. Don't do that. Don't do that, baby. I'm just trying to give you a little wisdom and knowledge. Y'all don't do that. You know what? And I'm not against tattoos. I'm not, because I want me one with a butterfly somewhere. Woo! That's your choice. That's between you and the God you serve. I have nothing to do with that. But don't, come on, give yourself a little respect. Don't come up in that church house with your tattoos of a naked woman or a naked man or a bitch. Oh, oh Lord. Woo! Woo! Oh, I'm sorry. The baddest be on now. Don't do that. Cover that tattoo up that's got that bad word on there. Understand me? Felicia, also, what's up? I'm just trying to say, just cover it up. Oh, Jesus. Just cover it up. Cover it up. Cover, cover your little tattoos and things up, and then when you get ready to go to the club, you can do what you want to do. See what I'm saying? That's all you got to do. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, my niece. Come on. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. I'm not trying to hurt you this morning, ladies and men. I'm just trying to tell you what I have done. And when I learn better, good morning, darling. When I learn better, I do better. And let me tell you something. Learn how to take, I'm getting hot, y'all. Hold on. Learn how to take constructive criticism. Understand me? Now I'm in my house. So I can wear this. 
Can't wear the church, but I can wear it. See what I'm saying? And these straps right here, that go to my bra. Don't go up in there like that. What's up, Janice Eli? Don't do that to the peoples. The people's trying to pray and ask God to help them from lusting. But by the time they, you don't know what that man praying for. You don't know if he praying to say, Lord, please help me stop lusting over these women. Keep showing their body parts. And then that's how the enemy come in. Because as soon as he get up, he lift his head up. You dead up in his face. Jumping up and down. Jumping up and down with your little shirt. Don't, hey, 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 hey. If you know you're going to wear something short to church, bring your own scarf. You won't be offended. Bring your own scarf. Tie yourself up before you go to the altar. Or tie yourself up if you're sitting, you know, somewhere where them folks going to look down on. Don't do that. I'm trying. I just want to tell you the truth. Because under yonder ain't a good place for the pastor to get up and lift his head and look down up in. That ain't what he want. He got, he got somebody. That he married to. You hear me? Don't do him like that. Hey, brother. Good morning. Good morning, Pee Wee. Hey, Johnny Nelson. God dog, I ain't know who you was. That's why I ain't accept your friend request. But I'm going to go back and accept it now because I know who you is. Okay, I love you, sister. I'm just trying to say, what time is it? Y'all don't let me, don't let that clock slip up on me. Just being real. Hey Tiffany, hey Tiffany, I love you, lady. I'm just being real. And when you invite people to church and you know that they don't have the proper tie or they're going through, that would be the only exception. Let them borrow a jacket from you. You don't want to make people feel bad when they come and call me a call me ASAP. Girl, I can't call. I can't call you ASAP right now, baby, because I'm doing live. I'll call you in a minute. Whew, Jesus, Lord, have mercy. I'm not. I'm not trying to tell you anything that the the mothers of the church and the uh, uh the wives of of uh, the first ladies of different churches that I've been to. We don't want to hurt your feelings. Good morning, TT. Good morning, Francis. We just want to allow you to know that you can respect yourself as a lady. Now, when you go out to the club or you go into to a little barbecue, that's fine. You feel what I'm saying? You want to do everything decent in our order and modest. Good morning, Keisha. You, um, uh, Miss Fincher, Tulsa Fincher. I, I don't I, I can't call you ASAP, baby, because I I don't I don't I I'll call you when I get off the live, okay? Hey, um, Kaderis, I'm so proud of you. Good morning. And the topic of the day is the do's and don'ts of church attire. The do's is cover up your body. Who angry at me? I'm just trying to tell you. I love y'all. Sandra Tandy. Good morning, Sandra Tandy. Good morning. You feel what I'm saying to you? Hey, Alexis, just be mindful because, see, if you're married and somebody come over to your house as an invited guest and you and your husband is sitting in the in the formal living room or the dining room, hey, Rhonda, hey, D, good morning, and, and, and they invite you over and you have on a mini skirt and your breast out, good morning, Alicia. And you sitting in the presence of her husband? Come on, y'all. That ain't right. That ain't right. I don't, I don't want you to not come to church because that's your spiritual healing. You understand? But you got to be mindful. When you get ready to go to this ball, uh, 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 Port City Liners ball on Friday, what did the, what did the ticket say? The attire. Hey, Tracy. What did the ticket say? Hey, Venetia Lowe Williams. The ticket says, after five. After five dresses mean you look cocktail.
tail dresses, the ones that's got the bling bling and the sequence of things on it. You know what I'm saying? Cute. Or you can go formal. Formal meaning a long ball gown. You understand what I'm saying? That's right, Jamelia. That's right. Good morning, Tracy. That's right. If you wear a skirt or if you wear uh, 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 pants. Respect the Lord's house. That's how we were raised. And so to your young girls and even to some of your old women, just because you can, don't. Now, it's strictly enforced. <coughs> and sometimes they even tell you on your tickets. No jeans, no tennis shoes, no hat turned to the back, no booty shorts. Good morning, TJ. I love you, darling. Waiting on the announcement of that baby coming here. You ain't gonna go up in you ain't gonna go up in them balls not dressed right, so why come to the house of the Lord dressed any kind of way? Use a high stepper. You love to show out anyway. Show out for the Lord. When you come to church, put your best on. And sometimes I know it's a struggle to be trying to find something to wear, especially if, as you're big as I am. My room be tore up by the time I get ready to go to church, but you know what? That's my fault. Because, see, I've been handing my mind what I want to wear, and then when I wake up, it ain't fitting me right, so I can't wear that. I done bust so many buttons and broke so many zippers. So at night, Saturday night, I'm going to do just like Mother taught me. Get my clothes together so I can get up and go. You have to be mindful of the things you do. And I know, hey, Logan Brown, hey, my baby. That's my nanny poo-poo right there. You got to be mindful of how your appearance looks. You understand? And I dare not judge you. I ain't trying to hear. I, ain't, I promise you I'm going to put this out again. I am not trying to tell you what to wear and how to do. I'm just telling you where I came from and I know better and I do better now. And if anybody sees my, my drawers hanging from up under my pants, baby, pull me to the side and say, hey, Miss Kisha, uh -huh, I see your drawers. I ain't going to be mad and say, oh, God, let me pull these up right quick as much as I be talking about folks. That's a, well, don't I say that. Don't I say that, Jay. Don't I say that, T. Terry Shan. Don't I say that. And if I see y'all showing up, pull you to the side. Hey, baby, pull that down. Understand me? If your slip showing, I'm going to say, hey, it's snowing. It's snowing down there. Oh, baby, I know something else. Let me tell y'all something. Stop going in this in the church house with these uh, see-through dresses on, baby. Y'all know I, I'm bipolar. I twi I'll switch in a minute. Quit going up in the church house with these see-through dresses on and ain't got nails slip up under them. That ain't cute. Got all your drawers shown. That ain't right. Stop wearing these bikini, these bikini thongs and things up under them pants and them skirts that you speak to. And your booty jingling like this. That ain't right. That ain't right. Get you a foundation. God, if you can't afford a Spanx, baby, you jingling. You better go to Walmart because they got this called the genie. Something. I got one. Go to Belks. Even the do even Family Dollar got you a little foundation. All you got to do is get, get the small one. If you wear a 2X, get you a 1X so it'll be tight up under your pants. Or your skirt. Quit jingling. And juggling all over the place. Your booty is jingling. Jingling, 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 jingling. Let's give them something to talk about. Quit jingling, 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 jingling. You jingling for your husband. Quit jingling, 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 up in that church like that. You walk, you shaking like rest fuchsia. I know because I used to do it. I wanted the men to see my butt. That ain't right. Thank you, Lord, for delivering. That ain't right. Then you get in there, put your tightest uh, uh, jeans on, or you wear them Palooza pants. Ooh, baby, them Palooza pants. I hate when y'all wear them. Put on your foundation. You know what another foundation is? And I use them, baby. These desks and tights, they so thin. I put some on when I have on a dress, or uh, I put them on when I have on pants or something like that. Then I don't shake because they hold me tight. Let's give them something to talk about. Understand me? I'm just trying to tell you. 
And I'm going to be just like Bernie Mac. I ain't scared of y'all. I just want y'all to know. I ain't scared of y'all. Whatever I stay on here, I say again. Understand me? Right in your face. Hey, Denisha, baby. Hey, Katanya. Hey, Jay. I'm telling you. Don't do that. And then as hard as it is trying to get... Ooh, baby, if you married. And you praying for God to deliver your husband and bring him to church with you. You not only got to fight off demons that he battling with, you got to fight off these demons with these Jezebels. Everybody don't come to church with good intentions. That ain't my problem. I give it to the Lord and that I ain't judge you, but I'm just trying to tell you. Then when you get, you praise your husband up in the church. Now he got to see, uh, 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 uh. What, what that P rhymes? Don't nobody want to see that. Hey, Erica Cone. Gerald, Gerard Brackett, good morning, sweetheart. Hey, um, Ronan. Hey, Jay. Jacelyn. Good morning, LaWanda Hayes. Don't do that. Lord, I'm praying, Jesus, Father God, I want my husband up in the church sitting beside me. I want him to be able to worship you like I worship you, God. Then when he come up in there, you, the first thing he see is this him. Baby, don't do that. Don't do that. And don't, you ain't gonna hurt, baby. When God sent me a husband. <laughs> Ooh. And if I see you coming with all them out like that, baby, hey. Ain't nothing. Go on, on. He gonna shake your hand. We ain't doing none of that. Cause see, I can smell it. Baby, when I tell you I can smell it, it stinks. I can see you coming a mile away. You won't be hugging on my husband. Mm. And then my husband go, baby, God gonna give my husband so much wisdom and knowledge. Woo! He gonna say, uh-uh, baby, I'm gonna shake your hand. Let's just shake your hand. You better have to wash your hands so you uh, 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 shake my husband's hand, baby. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> baby, I'm gonna have my husband so sanitized up. <laughs> hey, Mark Richardson. Hey, Sasha, and then let me tell you something about your men's. You men's coming up in now. With your big old muscles. With your big tight shirts. How the hell you think I'm supposed to sit up there and pray to the Lord when I'm looking at all the muscles and biceps and triceps and tri them triceps and things you try to show like this here. You about to bust that suit out. Ooh, I had to cover my eyes, Lord, help me, Jesus. Men, stop coming up in that church with them, them James Evan nut crushers on. <laughs> Don't do that to the peoples. You know them pants too tight, you trying to wear them skinny legs and things. This ain't GQ, baby, this is the Lord's house. You put that thing up somewhere. You cover that thing up. Some of y'all need a cup. Ooh. Don't do it to the peoples. I have on my glasses, so you know I'm they buy they buy focus, but they progressive lens. So they progressively showing me what you got. I don't want to see all that. I'm sitting up here saving myself for my husband. Then I turn around and I look over there at you and I'm like, ooh, he working with a monster. Lord, I want to see that. You can't do it to the peoples. Tuck that thing, roll that thing, put it to the back or something till you get out of church. They don't want to see all that.
Put cover that up. Co cover that up. Put your put your stuff on your arms and things. Cover that up. Now, now you can hey, you can fly like an eagle. Like a war eagle. You can just raise your hand and want nobody to know that you still got hair up under your arms. <laughs> Let's give them something to talk about. Understand me? Y'all start shaving up under your arms so you come to church, raise your hand up in the air. Are you sure? Because sometimes you don't be sure. Don't do that. Good morning, Valeria. Hey, sis. Good morning, Shonda. And then let me tell you y'all something too. Let me tell you something. I take my medicine to calm me down in the morning. I take my high blood pressure medicine. I take my anxiety medicine at night. Understand? No, I take my uh, uh, um, mood disorder medicine at night. Because that controls me, honey. Because, baby, I'll be out trying. Then I take me an anxiety pill if I'm getting too excited. But I'm going to tell you this. Those are, that's my medication to calm me down. I'm getting hot, y'all. Woo! That's my medication calm me down. Now, some of y'all take medication called weed, and you want it to be legalized. So it ain't legalized yet here in Alabama. Understand me? I ain't going to tell you no lie. Now, I can't smoke no weed. I used to want to smoke weed because I thought it was going to calm my nerve down. But, baby, I, hey, I used to smoke weed back in the day, and, baby, it chilled me out. And then that, well, uh, uh, one time I smoked weed, baby had me like this. I thought y'all was talking about me, paranoid, baby. I can't do it. And my therapist told me, she said, you can't ever, 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 ever smoke weed again. She said, because it's an upper. She said, and then when it get upper, it'll, it'll be a downer because of my chemical imbalance. I don't have a lot of serotonin and dope things, understand me? And they clash. And then I'd be more depressed hell than I was high. So now I sip on me a little stuff, understand me? Ugh. I sips on me some. And I get in my quiet place and I sit down. Stop coming in that church. In that church. Oh, I got excited. Stop coming in that church smelling like weed. Stop coming in that church smelling like that. Now that's just my opinion. I ain't got nothing to do with that. We ain't gonna turn you around. Hey, hey, that ain't. I, I'm just saying. Cause see, then when you hug people, you got the fragrance of the weed on somebody else. And then, what if you hugging? What if you hugging somebody that just starts serving? Then you might have the pastor and the wife and everybody looking at them like, I know you, baby. You can't come here and smell it like that. The church is a hospital. I understand for the ones that don't know, but the ones that's been in church and do, y'all know better. Y'all know better. Hey Kim. Hey April. Hey Yvette. Hey, mama. And I'm not dogging you out. And if that's the way you have to come to the Lord and you don't know no better, come on in there and leave. Hey, leave them alone. Leave, quit talking about them. Because, see, you can't change them. God can. But I'm just saying what I had to do. I know I can't sit up there in that church, baby, smelling like weed. When I learned better, I did better. Hey, cousin. Hey, Ma. I'm just trying to tell y'all. Ooh, I love y'all so much, and I just want to get y'all got to get right. But you can't get right without help. You can't get right without help, y'all. I ain't trying to tell you anything that I ain't been through. I had to get delivered from a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. And I know if God can do it for me, he'll do it for y'all. Y'all help somebody else that don't know. These people don't know. They don't know, y'all. They don't know no better. They don't know which way to turn. They don't trust nobody. Yeah, we laugh, we talk, you know what I'm saying, and I'm laughing, you know. <laughs> but if you got somebody like that that you know want to come to church, don't shame them. Bring them on. 
And let God change them. Let God change them. Don't talk to them like I'm talking to you now. Because I'm in my little character mode. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. I'm in my character mode. But if you know somebody like that, come on. Offer them, offer them a covering. See, he said, through love and kindness have I drawn thee. You can't go beating up people. And, and, and try to let them want, want them to come to church. You can't do that. If they smell like alcohol, if they smell like weed and they don't know no better, let them come on. See, God will do the change. But if you know better, you old saints, and I'm talking about old saints. Y'all, hey, 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 hey. They got blunt spray. Let me tell you something. I use it all the time. Not because I smoke weed. It's because when I go in the bathroom and if I just got through eating that seafood, I smell like seafood. I don't want you to walk behind me in that stall and be talking about, oh, Lord, and remember the shoes, the color shoes I got on, and look at me and say, girl, she done went in that bathroom smelling like a fish. So I use pineapple blunt spray. I use any kind of blunt spray. Don't bother me. Hold on. My nose running. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You got to give them the illusion. You see that water dripping? Wash your hands, baby. Wash your hands. Who else came on here? Woo! Hey, Al Katana. Hey, Shantae. Hey, Denisha. Woo! Hey, Kiana. Woo! Yes, baby. Got to wash your hands, baby. Got to wash your hands. Don't put your hands on me. Hugging on me and things. You ain't wash your hands. Hey, 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 hey. I'm going to get me a shirt made. And when you come to me and want you want me to check your hands, I'm gonna say, wash your hands. Y'all get y'all shirt, then you got to hurt nobody's feelings. Feel what I'm saying? Woo, baby, that just took a lot out of me right there. That took a lot out of me, but I just want y'all to know. When you know better, you do better. Hey, today's topic was Kiana, Kiana, and uh 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 Trace and all y'all. The do's and don'ts of church attire. You gonna have to go back and catch it here. Go back and catch it because it's good. And will y'all please like, love, and share this page. Hey, Michael Cox. Hey, brother. I need for y'all to do that. You feel what I'm saying? Because God got me going somewhere, y'all. And I'm ready to go. But I need y'all help. So I need for y'all to like and share the page. And let me know if you can't share it. I'm, I, I went in there and did public. So somebody was telling me that I need to do a, a, a page called Kisha's Corner. Calissa, I'm going to need your help, baby. Because <clears throat> Calissa, Calissa more excited than I was. Calissa say, God, check your views. I'm like, how you check the views? The views is how many people watching. Ooh. And then y'all, guess what? I love y'all so much. Because, see, y'all taking me to a whole nother level. My friend told me I need to get on Instagram. Well, I'm on Instagram. I don't know how to transfer these videos to no Instagram. Y'all got to show me. Y'all want my y'all want me to blow up and I promise you talk show. That's right, Shantae. Uh y'all want me to blow up. I'm gonna blow up with or without you. But I need help. Ain't nothing wrong with asking for help. Somebody show me how to get on uh, uh Instagram and YouTube and stuff and make up these things. Hey Nettie Pooh. Show me how to do that, darling. Cause I promise you, when you show me, I'ma show somebody else. Let me tell you something. Gifts and callers don't Somebody get that, that scripture. What is it? Gifts and callings. It's going to come to repentance or something. Hey, I got to find out what that is. But hey, God, your gift will make room for you. Understand, for me? Understand me? The video is too long. You can only do a snip. Ooh. Oh, okay. So I'm, I got too much time, huh? Okay, so I'm going to learn how to cut it down. Yeah, I'm going to learn how to cut it down. Okay, what, what time is it? Because I got to go base. 
before I go ahead and talk to this him, uh, uh, I got another therapy session at Alter Point there. I got to talk to the people. I did. I got to talk to them. I just got to talk to them. What time is it, y'all? Um, and what else I was finna say? So, what I want y'all to do for me, yeah, your gifts will make room for yourself. And then, Chante, what's that other one? It said, your gifts come without repentance. 755. Okay, I'm doing good. 8 o'clock, I'm, I'm be gone. Y'all tell me. Gifts and callings are without repentance. Thank you, Terry Shin. Thank you, baby. Y'all let me know when 8 o'clock come because I got to get out for him. Understand me? We going to go to Tran House and get them to help us. Okay, ain't no problem. And see, that's what I'm talking about right there. Now, that's a friend. Hey, you and Migo. And Romonica, thank you so much for inviting me. But I got Bible study tonight, so I ain't going to be able to, to be on your, broad, on your broadcast. Okay? Gifts and callings coming out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all find me the scripture. Put the scripture up there so I can be able to uh, uh, read it because that's in my spirit. That's in my spirit. But look, let me tell y'all something. I thank y'all so much because y'all don't have to do this for me. Y'all don't even have to give me the time of day. After these videos, you will be able to drop off the point. <laughs> I receive it. I receive it on this. Uh, what I was saying, I was telling y'all, I thank y'all so much. And I love each and every one of you. Because, see, you don't have to take time out your day to be looking at this, looking at me. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, Tawana Sullivan, you don't have to do that. And I appreciate you. And I promise you, when I get big, well, I'm already big. I ain't no somebody when I get big. Baby, when God expands my territory, and wherever my feet shall tread, I will possess, possess that land, I'm going to give shots out to everybody. You hear me? Big or small. Whatever part you play, whatever seed you sowed in my life, I'm going to give it to you. Understand? But all I want for y'all in return is don't... I, I'm powerless over people, places, and things, and Valeria always tells me that. Hey, Shonda. <clears throat> okay. Got to go, babe. Okay. Dejan Wooler. Hey, Poo Poo. Look, uh, 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 Valeria tell me all, this, all the time, Tina Taylor, good morning, boo, that you are powerless over people, places, and things. Okay, I will. Um, so I can't stop you from hating on me. I can't stop you from disliking me. I can't stop you from whatever you feel about me because you know what? I am who I am. I'm a trendsetter. I'm not a follower. I don't follow people and I don't jump on their bandwagon. Understand me? But I tell you what, if you 